Hello everyone, this is ASM Arif today welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorial and today I will show you the cinematic tone of the photography and how to edit this like the like, cinematic tone. So the photo was like that, the normal ordinary image but I just made this one like this. So this. So how I have done this type of effects. So here is the layer one. If I turn it off, here is a turn like layer one and i just made it by using the preset and i made that preset for you guys and i'll give you that preset download link in my video description and after that i used a gradient for the light controlling just because of in a left side you are getting some highlighted area which is not exactly for this photography perfect so after that i just adjust the levels and other stuffs and you are getting like that so let's start the tutorial if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications i'll show you this type of cinematic tone how to make it okay at first i'll go to the file and open up here is my stock image i downloaded this one of pixiebay.com and i'll give you that download link in my video description and you can use that things for your practice purpose okay at first make copy by pressing ctrl j uh, actually i just taking it like a backup layer and then go to the filter and camera filter this one is the plugins of photoshop creative cloud version and you can use this one as well as in a cs versions but you have to install that manually for the cs version and if you are the user of the creative cloud version you are getting this one automatically or by default in your version so this one is totally fun things and it will make your life easier than the before so camera filter here lots of like panels actually the settings and adjustments and you can use that things for your editing purpose but i made a preset for you guys and uh, what is happening after using that preset so let's see here is the small menu and go to the load things options and here the cinematic this xmp file and open it up boom you are getting that new effect on your photography so what i have done actually let's see what i have done here in a basic panel i just adjust the contrast highlight and contrast is plus 39 and highlight minus 23 shadow plus 75 and the whites minus 33 blacks minus 77 and plus 8 that is the clarity don't make it more than the 10 so here i just made it variance and saturation that is zero and the tone curve i made the tone curve blue like this i've just down this one little bit in the middle here middle box and the green i just make it up like a little bit and then the red one i didn't touch that and the rgb one i just make this one like curvy like this so after that detailing option i made the sharpening that is the 31 percent and detail 25 and the radius one and uh, the luminance of noise reduction that is the 90 percent just because of uh, in this photo there was grain in this photo so if i zoom it in you are getting this one in this photo you are getting some grain so that's why i just made this one like more luminantic that is the noise reduction and here as well the color and the luminance contrast here as well eight and the color nine and the color detail 60 percent and the color smoothing i made it 50 so after that here the hsl that is the hue saturation and luminance panel and saturation i just adjust this one orange saturation made it uh, minus 16 and the purple saturation i make it plus 33 and luminance i increase the luminance of red orange and yellow that is the what, plus 28 and orange one and plus 12 and then the split toning i made the split toning uh, highlights value that is the 195 and the saturation 13 and the shadow 254 and saturation 15 and then effects option i just uh, made it dh and that is plus six and the camera calibration finally i just made the color correction by this help of this panel that is the camera calibration in this panel in the red primary green primary and blue 
primary color those are the most basic things of this photography or any kind of photography and here red primary red that is the plus 27 and saturation 17 and green primary you are getting like a plus 64 and the saturation 13 and the hue of the primary blue color that is the two, minus 24 and the saturation minus 4 and the shadow that is plus 28 yeah that's all for this preset and hit the ok button you will get amazing look of this photography so what i have done i just made a copy of this background layer or that is the main layer and just i applied this one and you're getting like that i discussed that so how to apply in another photo let's see go to the file and open up suppose you want to apply that preset in this photo so how to do that again press ctrl g you're getting a new layer here and go to the filter camera filter before that you have to install it camera filter if it is not by default in your photoshop so from here go to the load settings options and cinematic this xmp file and i'll give you that file in my video description if you need you can adjust the light a little bit if you need and hit ok you are getting the amazing editing effects in your photography showing you another one that is yeah this one and press ctrl j and go to the filter and the camera filter so here is small menu load settings and this cinematic tone and you are getting ultimate look of your photography so if you want to add another things you have to press it ok and after that you can do other steps like uh, you want to add uh, the gradient and other steps so how to do that go to the adjustment and the gradient options and select this gradient and just make it like that or make it radial and degree that is the zero degree angle and uh, reverse drag this light into face and dither as well and make it 250 that's good so why i have done this one just because of i want to make the model in a focus and other things i'll make it a little bit dark for the focus of the model the main thing of the photography in, uh, actually the portrait photography the main thing of that photography that's why i just made it i just uh, de-highlighted uh, all the stuffs of the around of the model and i just made the face of the model is that is the lightening so if you need you can adjust the light so how to do that adjustment le and level adjustment layer to level and add some light like that and here like that so let's see the before one the before one, normal ordinary image but uh, if you are applying this preset what i have done or made for you guys and you can get the output like that hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section and don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button and share with your friend and until the next video i may see when you signing out today bye bye